So, men, we can sit here and complain, right? That is one way we can look at this. Or, we can just accept that this is the way things are and act accordingly. And how do we act accordingly? So this is this is something I shared on, on my on my Facebook. And this is what it says. Young men have to understand that number one, the modern world is hostile to men and boys. Navigate as if you are in enemy territory. Right? So you, you have already looked at the world and you've realized that oh this is what is happening. So how can I as as a as a young man or as a man whether I'm young or not, as a man, how can I um, ensure that I'm good? So number one is, let's, let's not be comfortable, okay? Navigate the world as if you're in enemy territory. So that means take care of yourself. Make sure that you're not exposing yourself. Make sure that uh, you look at everyone as a potential enemy, whether man or woman, because you don't know how this man was raised. You don't know. And I had this talk with, with some young men and I told them that you, what you see now in this society, men are to blame. What? Right? Men are the ones who are passing these laws. Alright? Men are the ones who are passing these laws. Men are the ones who, if you look at the judiciary, uh, if you look at, I think, majority are men, if you just look at any level in society, You'll find majority are men in positions of power. No, God, please, no, no! But then, these men are the ones who are passing these laws which are detrimental to the men. Don't be fooled by this term gender equality. Don't be fooled. It is not gender equality. It is just a rebranding of women uh, su supremacy. Let me just call it that. Because that's what it has become today. It is a rebranding of women supremacy. And I know a lot of people will get triggered by this. Okay? But just look at it. Look at the laws. It is just recently that young boys have been getting a reprieve when they are taken to court on issues of uh, defilement. What do I mean by young boys? I mean minors. So you get two minors who are engaging in sex, but then it is the boy who gets to go to court. It's the boy who gets to go into the juvenile system it is the boy who gets to be taken through all this trauma and all these um, hardships because he had consensual sex with a peer with a girl his age no! it is just recently and even that those rulings you see these women supremacist organizations which hide under women empowerment you see them uh, grumbling like why 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 is that judge doing that why is he letting that boy go why she she he impregnated this girl she is a minor without caring that also the boy is a minor so these are two children who made a mistake but it is the boy who has been paying for the longest time for the longest time so I know there are organizations which are doing very good work on gender equality and uh, and on um, even those there are also organizations which are for women empowerment but they're also doing like they are for women empowerment they are like this thing is oppressing women this thing is detrimental to women let's see how we can work it out but then a majority of other organizations are women supremacist organizations let's let's not lie 